Ah, y'all. Oh, let me shut up. Beautiful song, but such a shit time if I got copyright claimed. Oh, all right. Those were memories of childhood. I recall the warmth of the flowing steam and the wafting aroma of coffee. Hmm? Nanda kotone. Tanoshito dana. Oikaki ka. Homework! For kindergarten! I like my little Katoni voice. Nani nani? Shorai no yume? Oh, Saikin wa omoshire shikudai ga deru mon da na. Yeah! Aki said she wants so in a pet store. And Umi says. Er, my Umi said. <laughs> no, and Umi says she wants to be a model. An idol! God damn it. <laughs> and then, what's Grandpa! That's right. Your grandpa is not a a girl. So on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even gonna touch that. <laughs> so on. You don't know <laughs> the times we are living in. Why not? Nazi,じゃねえ。全く誰に影響されたんだその口調。あ、彼女のやろうか。<laughs> Watch your mouth talking in front of a child. Don't use bastard in front of a child. Ma, nani wa tomoare. Mango musume no mokyo ni sarer ute na. Nakanaka warku ne kibun da na. Oh my gosh, stomach, shut up. Yeah! Kotoni's gonna be a coffee shop owner like you, Grandpa. Ha ha ha! Sono ikida! So da na. もしもだけどよ。お前が本当に俺の後を追って喫茶店を選ぶっつうなら最初は俺の後を追うだけでもいい。手を引いてやるし、背もを<笑> My own path? Oh. Ma, some of the people who are in the world are in the world. Oh. I'm going to go to the world. I'm going to go to the world. I'm going to go to the world. I'm going to go to the world.
This prayer will never be answered. But if I could see Grandpa again, I would want to thank him for showing me the path when I was lost and for introducing me to Connors and the others. Thank you. A month's time has passed since the incident in the fairy world of Medio. Cafe Enchante is back to doing business as usual. The regulars who aren't here at the moment have been visiting the shop as if nothing have happened. Hmm. No. I guess there were some changes. That is. <laughs> Look at you! You look so out of place, but look at you not tethered to that throne, child. I'm here for it. Hey there, Titania. The fact that we have a new, beautiful, regular customer. Yep, that's true. I tried to procure some rare, rarer, excuse me, Ones like lemongrass. Lemongrass is rare. Well, I guess authentic lemongrass. That shit's that that shit's everywhere. Titani, that Titania has been since lip. Oh my God, Sasha, please. Titania has since been liberated from Yidrasil. Now that Titania has become a regular, her love of red tea has affected the cafe. <laughs> With Enchante's main menu, which mainly co or consisted mainly of coffee items, now includes a very special red tea. <laughs> she looks adorable. You know, y'all, fun fact, red tea is not actually tea. It's an herbal. The true teas are black, green, white. Um... Yeah, pretty much it. Oolong and Pu'er are forms of fermented black tea, but they're still black. So, um, yeah, er red tea is not really a red, or excuse me, not really a tea tea. It's made with herbs. It's just that the red tea is a, a bush from South Africa, I believe, or it's in the African content, continent. Hashtag tea snob. Titania takes a seat at the counter with a wholesome smile on her face as if she's been coming here for years. <laughs> I'm flattered to hear you liked it. But don't eat but don't eat it too fast, you'll choke. I have not had a chiffon cake, so I don't know what the hell to tell y'all there. <laughs> These days, the smile on Titania's face isn't that of the fairy queen, but that of an, an adorable young girl suited to her appearance. There's nothing that imprisons her anymore. Of course, she still holds the title of queen, ruler of the fairies, but it sounds like that job is going well for her so far. Then, as if someone had noticed Titania's arrival, footsteps echo from upstairs. <laughs> that echoing gentle voice undoubtedly belongs to one of the regulars who loves Enchante, Kanas Espada. Kanas, who's returned from Medio just this morning, Releases a heartwarming sigh at the sight at the sight of Titania eagerly awaiting her cake, but この安心って何だ。子供の安心ってのは居心地のいい場所なのは確かだな。あまりに抜け出す頻度が多いとは心配症の弟からまた説教を受けるのではないか。<笑> The tiny queen's body jerks in the stillness. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil. 
and he shall appear. What do you want, Venia? <laughs> the worrywart little brother suddenly appears from the portal room and lets out a sigh. <laughs> Don't mind me. As the owner of this cafe, I'm only blessed by Titania's visits. And thanks to that, I'm glad you come here too, Venia. So with that, welcome. Yeah, it's gotta be a little awkward. Venia with the slight awkwardness breaks eye contact with me in response to my welcoming. But he didn't try to escape the situation. Rather, he took a seat next to Titania as if to watch over her. This time he is here as a genuine guest. Hannes looks upon them in an emotional state. In Medio, ever since then, just as Hannes had predicted, Yidrasil, which had terrorized the fairies, has completely withered away and vanished. At first, the fairies were quite confused regarding the fate of Yidrasil, their home, and the fact that it had all disappeared. But with the... Ooh, effects. Okay. But with the new life that the lights spread throughout Medio, plant buds had started to appear. And now the fairies are tending to the growth of the new life and are, refo ugh, and are focused on Medio's revival. For them who never really had purpose in their lives, having something to work towards must be a fresh and invigorating experience. And now... It's safe to say that the bias toward Kanas as the Fairy of Death has disappeared. Once Titania had announced to all fairies about the truth of Yidrasil and that Kanas had eliminated the threats, the way the fairies had perceived him must have changed. Of course, it may be po impossible to get along with every fairy from the get-go, but... Kanas, who excels at growing plants, including the flowers in Enchante's garden, is making good use of his experience. The fairies who were saved by Kanas that day had, and had expressed their gratitude to him have been asking for his advice on how to grow the plants on Medio. In other words, Kanas is now, in a way, their, uh, the gardening guru to the fairy population. <laughs> That's cute. Just imagining this makes me smile and <laughs> at the end of that incident Venia who had caused Eudrasil's rampage for Titania's sake was given one punishment that is <laughs> Venia I see you're honoring your promise so <laughs> To stay by Titania's side no matter where she may be. Hmm. I mean, he was doing that prior. And that seems to be a little on the slap on the wrist side versus a. Uh. uh Suited punishment, we'll put it like that. But whatever, this is a T-rated game. And wherever, this is a story of convenience, so I, I whatever. And support her as the Queen's Chancellor for all of eternity. He deemed this punishment too, too lenient. Thank you, I do too. <laughs> he did try to take your life, Katone. And that he should be executed. Well... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all that. 
<laughs> like you would think that, but y'all, I'm like, he should have got a harsher punishment, but not that daggone harsh. So <laughs> whatever. It, it is what it is with Medio. Uh, yeah. So he deemed his punishment too lenient and that he should be executed. But ultimately, despite being bitter about it, he gave in to Titania's tearful plea and accepted his punishment. There you are. Sorry for the wait. I laid down the freshly made items in front of the two liberated fairies. Once they finish their well-mannered grace, uh, they start enjoying their, their the red tea and dessert. <laughs> As I watch them with a smile on my face. <laughs> what the hell is deep blue mean? I sense an awkward gaze from the table in the back. <laughs> um, is something wrong, Kanas? Did you want to order some? No. Uh, so you look at So, what do you mean? Now is good to say. Ah, yes, but. Hmm? He seems very inarticulate. It sounds like he's talking to himself. Titania and Venian also looked at his demeanor with a puzzled look, at least for a second until... Venia seems to have noticed something and snaps his fingers. Suddenly, he gently whispers to Titania seated next to him. Having heard him, Titania busts out a full grin. Hmm? I tried my best to listen in. Girl! Got you! You know better than the eavesdrop. So nosy. Something about an article in a magazine that Connus was reading. The siblings quietly whispered back and forth as they repeatedly look over at Kana. Their smiles resemble each other. Thirty minutes have passed since then. The two having finished their food suspiciously hurry for the exit, claiming they are going shopping downtown. <laughs> I'm glad to see that they are enjoying their freedom in the human I think they mean in the human world. And the human world, but... Or no, it could be both. It could be both. But... I wonder what their gossiping was all about. <laughs> you got something to do with it. <laughs> but now that the two are gone, no matter how hard I think, there was no chance of arriving at an answer. I decided to focus on the guests here, or now here, I turn around to Connors. By the way, Connors, you haven't ordered anything yet. Seriously, are you okay? You were staring at us the entire time. Oh, do you have something you want to ask me? Ooh? It seems to just be us, so what's the problem? Guided by his words, though at first I was, or though at first very curious, I temporarily leave the cafe to Katia, 
who had came in shortly after. I quickly change my clothes and arrive at the portal with room with him. I don't mind going to the fairy world at all, but if I recall correctly, it was Kanis of all people who told me I shouldn't go there for a while because of the instability of the land. But those doubts are instantly shattered the moment I arrive. <laughs> Got tongue tied. Are instantly shattered the moment I arrive and lay my eyes upon the gorgeous scenery. Oh wow, it's a beautiful flower field. Okay. New start. Who dis? <gasps> In a matter of seconds, I am left speechless at the vibrant colors spread across my view. A blissful wind carries a sweet fragrance. The blooming flowers dance amongst the... Uh, 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 what the hell? The blooming flowers dance along amongst it. They reach their petals pleasurably toward the sky. It's pretty, yeah! Kanis utters as he look as he look at the flowers. what it was I'm really glad Kanis leads the way saying he wants me to see more <gasps> how the hell are you careful in a full suit of armor being careful not to step on the flowers we make our way to the center ow this is the newly born Medio. Well, I'm happy for y'all. I'm happy for y'all. Okay, sir. I don't mind the name change. <laughs> That's not true at all. The powerful and kind knight who puts his life on the line to save me fully deserves that title. That is adorable. Suddenly, Kanis had taken a comically deep breath. Oh. The music cut off. What is this? Huh? Before I before I can ask him what he means by that. Wait, should he have gloves on? He removes his helmet, gently takes my hand, and kneels down in front of me. Y'all not gonna play me like you did with Dante's uh, best ending. <laughs> I'm no, I'm not taking this. I'm not. Whatever, theatrics. There's no other meaning to this. What? 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 What is this? Normally, I would be looking up at him. 
But now I'm looking down at him. It's a refreshing perspective, I thought, but... Uh, um, kind of... Ask the question his actions. This, this, this is just uh, something a knight does. Nothing else. <laughs> Maybe it's just in my head, but his hands feel slightly tense. Could he be... Ner oh my god. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Nervous. By the time I finished hypothesizing... Okay. <laughs> with the voice so gentle, heartfelt, and overflowing with emotions. Hannes abruptly expresses his feelings for me. And as my cheeks blush bright red from the passionate words, grab my cheeks would be going off like a glower. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> he presents me. Oh my gosh, don't please don't sell yourself short. But but Time has stopped and everything has frozen in place. Bride? I was just the World Tree Bride not too long ago. I don't think. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay! Okay! <laughs> I, was, I was making that joke, but glad you clarified that. <laughs> Does he mean? Yes, girl, he means. You know, you know what he means. Honai, you say you are a to you guy named Nai no Dana. Anataka, Titania, you are the Shino Nakani. So you talk to Shita Kashoka. This is so adorable! So you go to the 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 いいなことではないだろう。きっと苦労や寿命の差だ。そして顔が見えぬゆえも擦れ違いもあるはずだ。はい。His love is straightforward and to the point. This is probably his first selfish act considering he has always dedicated himself to the service of the fairy world Medio. Uh, um, my face reddens. Not out of confusion, but out of flattery. I feel as if I'm a fl- I feel as if I'm but a flower in a vast ocean of a flower garden. Kanis now staring at me, must be predicting my response to him. But, no matter how strong the feeling, I have to choose my words to get my point across. All I know is, it better be yes. <laughs> I will happily reciprocate for the kind and sincere man who is looking me Katone. 
What? I don't get that. Looking at me? Straight in the eye. Whatever. <laughs> I, I, girl, spit it out! I'd be happy to! <laughs> in response to my stuttering. <laughs> A blizzard of flower petals fly through the sky in celebration of us. Embraced by this warm celebration, Kanis takes my hand and gently pulls it to me. And I, what did he do? <laughs> Wait. A soft warmth seeps down into the back of my hand. That is probably Connus' kiss of oh. <laughs> Despite being faceless, he proves his love for me. <laughs> ひとりの男としてわれはあなたの身も心も永遠に守り続けるあわきことね我が愛しき花嫁よ Yes, I accept with all of, with all my heart, and I will forever cherish your love and soul as your bride. Oh, Thank you, kind knight. I am just a fragile human being, but I will be your place of comfort and I swear to protect your soul. Bitch, tell him that! As the owner of my enchanting and your noble knight's bride. <laughs> oh my god! Somebody legit proposes. Not that fake out Dante did. What? What was that? Oh, shoot. Is that Too Fleet Ego Eris? Prologue 2. Solitude. What is? Yes, that is the definition of solitude. Trey. A new prologue is now unlocked. <gasps> what? 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 Lord have mercy. I don't know what the heck I got myself into. <laughs> I was gonna get the best end or whatever ending. Well, that might as well be the best ending. Oh, y'all. Oh, it makes me feel so good inside. I didn't get the bad ending first. But now, y'all, it's gonna turn bittersweet because the next video, when we're starting, I'm gonna do alternate choices. And then, um,. It's the, it's like, it only goes downhill from there. Let me see how this works. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, look at this, y'all. Don't make no daggone sense. Eight main chapter. Oop. Eight main chapters, y'all. Good Lord have mercy. Four chapters. 
per character. Okay, that's how they working with. All right, well, yikes. Wait, so, oh. Who is this? Oh, this probably might be Mezier, because he's the poster boy. So he has six chapters, and Mezier, Connors, Ill, or Ignis, Rindo. Yeah, everybody else has four. Some horse crap, if I ever saw it. Uh, wait, I didn't want to do that. This was a little bit more confusing. Uh, okay. Right. <laughs> so, y'all, what do heck? What do I do? <laughs> Alright, well, we'll figure it out. But I think for my alternate choices, y'all, I think what I'll end up doing is just starting from Connus' chapter and um, doing all the alternate choices that I did not select. Uh... Ah. Oh, okay. So you just... Oh, all right. You just do that. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm like figuring this out, and I can just cut, cut the video right there. But uh, yeah. I, how do you tell if you got the bad ending or good ending? Well, that's the good ending. That has to be the good ending. Uh, good, good, good. Uh, what is this? The identity of that voice resounding in a world full of despair is... Alright, well, we'll, 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 we'll put that on the back burner, y'all. Um... Oh, what is this? The music, the dictionary... How do you navigate? Event CG. Uh. Okay, I don't, I don't get this. <laughs> uh. Uh, yo! Let me know. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, I think, yeah, this responds to each route. This is Mezier, this is Ignis, Connus. Um. Shit. Uh, Karu, Rindo, um, Ill. And then this is just like in general. Right? I don't know what the drinks does. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, y'all. Because I'm just going to keep it on here. Just because um, <laughs> the splash screen it doesn't last too long uh, you immediately get kicked out as soon as um you try to do the like as soon as i try to talk it's not as long as um pio fiore's uh splash screen so we'll just stay here for a little bit but yeah y'all um so stoked got a good ending Best ending. I don't know how they coin it as, but it's a good ending. So, with that being said, the next video will deal with alternate choices. And then, um, finally, we'll talk about, uh, we'll talk about getting other endings. 
because y'all know that's how I usually do it. But, um, yeah, I'm so, that is so cute. Even though, like, fairies don't really grasp the concept of marriage or whatever, still the fact that, you know, he went through the motions and I don't know if Katoni's going to take his last name. <laughs> They're going to go that far, but it's so cute. They, like, um, the fact that he says it, okay, that that works for me. I love it. I'm here for it. I love this ending. Um, but here I am trying to guess, like, oh, how the bad ending's going to work. And, um, <laughs> well, we'll see. So, um, I know there were some things in regards to, uh, shots y'all there were some things in regarding uh, regards to like um in the prologue or leading up until the character specific chapter i think i have i think i might have to go back on that and um pick those other answer choices because i'm not gonna do it again because that didn't got connus's route so yeah, the alternate choices is going to be fun. <laughs> I can tell. Uh, but, you know, as promised, like I did P.O. Fiore, I will do for this one. And that we go through all choices. We we brute force it. Because this is a 100% playthrough. So I want all choices, all... Uh, Dictionary terms, all endings, all CG, all everything, 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 everything. So yeah, y'all, thank you very much for tuning in with your girl. That is going to do it. Ending get so friggin' happy. Um, so like I said, we're gonna get Connus's bad or worse endings or whatever the heck. Well, they are worse endings, but yeah. Uh, so, again, thank you very much for stopping on by, chilling with your girl for another piece of the Cafe Enchante playthrough. And, um, yeah, y'all. Y'all know my philosophy on this YouTube shit. View what you wanna, do what you wanna, and I'll see you lovely lads and lassies in the next episode. So, until then, my friends, take care. Take it easy. Peace.